Greetings. It's all in the languaging. It's all in the language we tell ourselves about what's happening. Because when we think a thing, it sets hormones and chemical and alchemical processes in the body into motion. Literally. And then we say the thing and we perpetuate whatever we're contorting in our minds. So if we can slow down enough often enough, daily, regularly, moment by moment, hopefully, to catch that string of words and thoughts and put like a magnifying glass over it for a moment and recognize what we're creating. What elements are threaded in there? Is this thought process empowering me? Is it disempowering me? That's really the main thing, right? So when we sit with the feeling, it's like sometimes we must like to feel defeated like we kind of like the I don't know what to do right now feeling. Even though we would argue, say we don't like that feeling at all. But we perpetuate it again and again. And I think it's an opportunity to delve into the the inner workings when we're feeling that way. Like something is still telling me on a deep level I'm not in control. And it's not like our ego self is in control, but we have the constant dialing of the lens, the interface. Like we're constantly stepping down cosmic intelligence, galactic remembrance, through human filters. And we've got to guard the gate. Sometimes it's hard because there's all this like heart stuff. There's like a mental stuff really guarding that gate. Be like, no, 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 it's really challenging right now. Nope, nope, my anxiety, nope, nope. Or, oh, oh, this situation's just so out of control. Or, oh, I'm just hurting myself in this way. Or, I just don't, feel like, there's, these are the excuses, the trappings, the tethers we tell ourselves. That is that block, you know, you're dealing with the galactic mind, the cosmic intelligence, and this gobbledygook. So we've got to get like a, a finer sieve. A finer filter. So it can be like, oh, okay, so I'm filtering. I'm right now sitting in an uncomfortable moment, which means my consciousness is filtering all this stuff. And if you literally just tune in and, and think, feel, filter, 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 and just let cosmic consciousness get into all the places. That's why meditation is awesome, because you're just literally sitting there and you're opening yourself to filter with a higher mind. And it's not about stopping your mind, though. That happens. 
that whatever's coming in through your mind, that's going to go through the filter. So just let it. You can constantly maintain galactic awareness, higher mind, which you can also just call the witness for now, you know, the observer of all that's being pushed through this vessel. Because what we're really trying to do is get these vessels to work in the galactic scene again. But we have to keep running them through the muck seeing how tough these off-road tires are. And they're tough, like they are tough. But what's true is, if you're able to keep filtering, you are part of the core. Are you part of the core?